Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and now let's see if we've learned what we saw in the last couple of videos is how to find the probability of a certain outcome or a certain event when we flip a certain number of coins. In this case, we have 10 coins and we're looking for the following things. First of all, the number of outcomes for the event where we have four, he four heads and six tails. We're looking for the total number of outcomes in the sample space for flipping 10 coins. And finally, what is the probability of event A, the probability that we flip 10 coins and we get four heads and six tails. Now, if you were to write all that out from scratch, it would take you a very long time. So having the general equation is really the way to go. First of all, the number of outcomes for event A can be found this way. So the number of outcomes for event A is equal to n over k like this. Now, Again, remember what n represents. n is equal to the number of coins. So in this case, n is 10, and k equals the number of heads. Actually, you could also have k being the number of tails. It really doesn't matter, but you would get the same result. So that means, in this case, this is equal to n is 10, and the number of heads is 4. Now. What does that mean when you write it like that? Well, the general equation for that is as follows. n over k with parentheses like this is equal to n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. So that means the same thing over there. So this means this is equal to 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial uh, times 6. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself again. That would be 10 minus 4 factorial, like that. So this is equal to 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 6 factorial. And so to simplify that, we can write it as follows. So this is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by, this would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, that's what factorial means. Now, before you try to get your calculator and work all that out, you could simplify this by saying, okay, this will cancel out with this. Now all we have left is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 divided by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And notice that 4 times 2 is 8, and we have an 8 up there, so that becomes a 1, and the 4 and the 2's become 1, and I have a 9 and a 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So simplified, this becomes 10 times 3 times 7 divided by 1, which is equal to 21 times 10, or 210. So the answer is, the total number of outcomes for the event A is 210. There are 210 possibilities of getting 4 heads and 6 tails when you flip the coin 10 times, or you flip 10 coins. So now we need to know the total number of outcomes in the sample space when you flip 10 coins. There the answer is, so this is the answer for A. The answer for B is the total number of outcomes in the sample space. So total number is equal to, okay, the general equation for that is simply 2 to the nth power. Remember, n was the number of coins, and there's 10 coins right here, so in this case, that is equal to 2 to the 10 power, which is equal to 1,024. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 10 times like that. All right, so now we have the total number of outcomes for the event, the total number of outcomes for the sample space. Now, finally, we can say for C, C, the probability for event A is equal to the total number of outcomes for, outcomes for event A divided by the total number of outcomes for the sample space. And of course, in this case, the numbers we have is 210 divided by 1,024. And of course, you can go ahead and simplify that, but that's about 1 in 5. So there's about a 1 in 5 chance when you flip the coin 10 times that you'll get 4 heads and 6 tails. And that's how we use probability when we flip coins. It's actually pretty good. So the three things you need to remember is how to calculate the total number of outcomes for the event. And that's done using this equation right here. 
Secondly, the total number of outcomes in the sample space, which is 2 to the number of coins that you're flipping. And finally, you take the two numbers, divide them by each other, that gives you the probability of that particular event. And that's how we do that.